<laughs> it's live. Thanks, Missy. You're welcome. All right. So, everybody, look who I have here. As you will start to see now, it'll go in the corner when you have people up on. Okay. We're not, we're not talking to people today. Well, no, <laughs> they can ask questions. Oh. So, that's part of it. But right now, everyone's getting a notification that Auto Body Experts is live. So, we have to give them a minute to hop on, everything like that. So, um, just to catch you up to speed, I have Kelly here. Hello. And um, he has been taking a lot of time and education on um, some of the different things we've talked about, pre and post scans. Um, and so he is going to, he's had a situation kind of occur. And um, he's going to share that and kind of how we look at our safety for you guys. Um, you know, our insurance companies, I stress this, we love our partners. But it's something that... Um, Safety is top importance for us. We're not going to mess around with it. Um, I get, like I said, being working with all together and compliant, but it's one of those things that we, it's our name and it's our safety. And I mean, we're the ones who have to sleep at night. And that's actually what kind of brought this up. He lost some sleep one night. Truth. And so <laughs> that's how we got him here. Um, but it, when you lose sleep off an issue of safety, it, it's so sad for us and upsetting that we are fighting for something that should be an easy given thing that you pay for premiums. So I am going to let Kelly kind of take it from here. But um, if you have your vehicle repaired at Auto Body Experts, we do pre and post scans. Um, I'll let Kelly, like I said, go in and to explain those a little bit. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and we will try to stay on those. And um, like I said, again, we love our partners, but it's becoming a safety issue and it, it's it's right and it's not being right how we're being bullied into this decision Correct. more or less or that we want to accept it and we're not going to so I'm gonna turn it over to Kelly for a little bit hi yes she talked me into doing this um, the reason for doing this is exactly what Mandy said it's looking out for our customers um, I know Mandy and the marketing team does a great job uh, plug in Facebook Live and educating customers um, and trying to explain to you as a community that when we repair a vehicle, we treat it like family as well. And the other night, I honestly lost four hours of sleep over this particular claim because I laid in bed and stewed on it. And the question I asked myself is, if I wasn't in the industry and I didn't know this, what would happen to my vehicle and my family? Um, I'm going to back up and I'm going to touch base on one claim and I'm not going to throw the carrier under the bus. You're not going to hear me mention their name, but it is a direct repair shop that we work with. And now with the introductions of pre and post scans, it's fairly new to our industry. Um, years ago, we weren't doing it as vehicles, engineers and engineers started developing vehicles that were lighter, had crush zones built into them to absorb energy and impact. They started adding sensors into vehicles and safety equipment that the occupants rely on um, in a collision. I had a mother of five, family of seven, come in with a 2007 Mazda CX-9. We know this because upon coming in, she told Faith, the CSR staff here at Auto Buy Experts Zealand, that she had a larger family and wanted a vehicle, a loaner vehicle to try to accommodate it. So my job at that point as an estimator was to read over her loss notes, look at the loss that occurred in this particular collision. On the assignment, the assignment just for, I'm gonna use words that might not make sense to you, but an assignment's gonna be the information the insurance carrier sends over to our shop regarding and pertaining to the loss. It lets us know where to look for damage on the vehicle, so forth, so on. Also, we'll list if there's um, injuries that occurred in the vehicle. Um, in this particular claim, it jumped out to me that when I read it, it said rear gate, rear bumper damage. Occupant in the rear, a young girl, hit the mother's seat. Um, stated it right in the assignment. And I mean, I can read it word for word a second. Um, vehicle one's daughter hit her head on the back of the seat. So collisions large enough that occupants were moving inside the vehicle. Um, I'm thinking in my head before I even go and look at the vehicle, it's probably a pretty substantial estimate I'm about to write. You know, um, when other looked at the vehicle, 
back up a second, but prior to going out and looking at it, the customer stated that upon the impact, their spare tire also became dislodged, snapped the chain underneath the vehicle, and was no longer underneath the vehicle. Um, again, red flag that the collision was probably big enough. A high impact. A higher impact. So went out and wrote the estimate, prepared the estimate based on Mazda's statements and so forth that we are supposed to follow. Now, to let you know when it comes down to pre-scan, post-scans, the OEs as they start to develop vehicles, and when I say OEs, I'm talking about the manufacturer of your vehicle, whether it's Honda, Toyota, in this case, Mazda. Um, they, they've looked back and said, okay, if we are gonna design and engineer these vehicles to absorb energy in a collision, they list out repair procedures to us. So when we're building our repair plans to repair this vehicle, we as estimators and managers access their databases to see the correct repairs that need to take place on these vehicles. On top of that, they also list what they call position statements. And a manufacturer's position statement is going to tell you if, they, if and what they want done to that vehicle during the repair process. And during this case, in this Mazda claim that we we're handling, there is a position statement issued on January 3, 2018, so it's not old, stating that as OE manufacturers become more technologically advanced, Mazda North America Operations wants vehicles being repaired for collision damage to be scanned before and after the repair for diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, that will be stored if any of the sensors, cameras, radars, so on, so on, were damaged during the collision. So. Definitely a vehicle we're going to want to pre and post scan. Um, vehicles hit hard enough, daughter hit the back of the seat, spare tire snapped off. There's definitely a chance that there's going to be other types of damage that we cannot physically see, touch, smell, whatever. And, I mean, they have to remember these position statements, like he said, are coming from the OE. They are the ones who crash test that vehicle. They're the ones who have critiqued it and made it that, you know, it can handle this type of impact or where the sensors are all located. I mean, that's why the manufacturer is so key in this because they created this car. They're going to tell you they how it has to They know what has to happen. Yes. They're going to say, okay, yes, our frame rail might have been designed to absorb energy, but at the same time, we need this airbag to deploy in order to protect the occupant. Um, a lot of these items are not visible. And I'm gonna back up because a lot of people might be familiar with the seatbelt light, the airbag light, the, the lights that used to come on the dash. The new Chrysler 200, and don't mark my words here, but the new 200M has over 200 different sensors in it. If the manufacturer were to put a light on your vehicle dash for every sensor, it'd look like the cockpit of a jet. I mean, it, it'd be a joke. So what they do is they have DTC codes, diagnostic trouble codes that get stored in the vehicle in the OBD, and that's the onboard diagnostic unit. Kind of like your little black box. It's like a black box in a jet. So you can't see, touch, or smell. The only way we are able to know in the case of this Mazda, if there's any codes or damage or anything stored in it, is to do a pre-scan. This is where my ass gets chapped. Um, <laughs> I write the estimate. Prior to that, we've had a couple month battle with this insurance carrier and it is the only one, one out of every insurance company we deal with that has pushed back. And they have come up somehow in their fantasy world they live in to put a year on it. And when I say that, they say we are not gonna pay for pre and post scans on vehicles 2015 or older. I have a 13, so my family's not safe. No. Top this off, they said we'll handle it on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So when you get a vehicle in that's older than 15, email us, and we'll let you know if we're going to pay for it. This is the part where Kelly stayed awake, because when I get my insurance premiums in the mail, I don't get a damn choice on when I'm going to pay it. If I want insurance, I'm paying it. And if I'm paying it, why aren't they paying for my family to be safe in the vehicle? Why does a lady on the other end of the phone, and I say a lady because it's one person, hopefully she's on here because she knows who she is, gets to decide on this family member's five children that are in this vehicle? She shouldn't. 
the manufacturer decide. They put in writing all vehicles, not 2015, all. As I went through this and I stewed on it and I told Mandy, okay, you're gonna get me to do a live Facebook feed. I'm my best. Um, Mandy mentioned yesterday, a friend of ours from Towns, two daughters were in an accident. I saw the pictures of this vehicle. I saw it on her page. The airbags deployed and lo and behold, it was a Mazda. Guess what people, last night I walked out of my daughter's volleyball game with her and her two daughters because they were safe. The airbags, the vehicle, everything that was designed into that car did what it was supposed to do. This vehicle, the insurance company is taking the stance and saying they're not gonna pre and post scan. Which, as auto body experts, we're the experts. They claim they're the educated ones. <laughs> they're not. <Get> closer. <laughs> <laughs> they're not making an educated choice. Um, it's a bunch of bullshit. They need to allow the experts to handle what they need to handle. If they want us to go through the training and the necessary steps to make sure we're returning vehicles to pre-accident loss, they should not be stepping in and marking a year or having a say in it. And they make us be certified. I mean, we also choose yes. to be. I mean, our staff, kudos to, uh, they've been working to stay our car gold the last few days. Missy, the manager here in the Zealand shop, just got done with all her testing and certifications. And we as To a know shop, we're doing the right thing. Yeah, we as a shop pay thousands of dollars in training for our technicians. And this particular claim, and the, my, my brain's just gonna wander and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going here, but when Missy sent over the permission to this insurance carrier to pre and post scan, they asked for photos and the reply we got back, and you don't make this up, was what's the circle thing in the rear bumper cover? Is that a sensor? Lady, that's a tow hook cover. If you don't know the difference between a tow hook cover and a reverse sensor in a vehicle, don't be telling us what we should and shouldn't do. This is where I feel Mandy, Auto Body Experts as a family, goes the extra mile. When it's all said and done, these scans, the shop will probably profit $40 off from. My four hour sleep is well worth $40. <laughs> um, my time speaking to you is an investment. But as a family owned operated business, we look for the safety of our customers. I know for a fact that there's a lot of shops out there that don't do it. Flat in out this don't area. do it in this area. So think about it. They might be the cheaper estimate. You come in, you get an estimate, and they might be less because they're not doing it. Um, you guys want to see the position statements on your particular vehicle? OEM one stop. Elizabeth, if you're watching, throw a link up there. It's easy. Click the position statements, go to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see pre and post scans. Click on Chevy, Honda, Toyota, whatever you want. Read it. It's a must, people. <laughs> um, unless you're this insurance carrier. So I'll, I'll have Mandy follow up with you what's going to happen here. Because what's going to happen is when your vehicle is dropped off, we have to gain permission from you, the insurer, to do a pre and post scan. It's a sheet you sign. Because we are pulling diagnostic information out of your vehicle that you own, really. Um, this lady, mother of five, is going to be explained just like I am to you right now, um, the severity of her insurance company denying it. And I'm going to go back to where Mandy started with this. This is not this insurance carrier. This insurance company is phenomenal. Um, our insurance partners are phenomenal. This is one person, one person at the top that at the end of the month wants to prove that they save $200 on each vehicle repair by arguing this crap to save their job. This local agency is phenomenal and I have a plan on talking to this agency. They take care of their customers, they're great. But it scares the crap out of me to know that if I didn't know what I knew, what would happen to the occupants of this vehicle? And do the Getting agents know it? that they and have they? someone in their office that doesn't care about that person's safety? I mean, insurance in Michigan is not cheap no. at all. But and we pay it. We pay it. So if we pay it, why aren't they paying to make sure the vehicle's repaired right? No. Nope. <laughs> so, 
yeah, it's a very frustrating thing for us. Um, we did now have it in our CCC estimating program. Yep, um, they've they added it. it. So we are hoping that the auto body industry and the nation is starting to catch on to this. But, um, you know, I have had some insurance companies call me and say, can you explain it? And once you explain it, they're like, absolutely, thank you. Thank you for doing it. But like we said, we just have a carrier here that just keeps making decisions, and it is a very known carrier in this area, especially. Yes. It It's <coughs> not worried about you. And for me, I actually have a vehicle um, that we purchased that was uh, repaired under this insurance company, and we scanned it afterwards because they didn't want to pay for it. And I had 19 codes, 19 codes. If you want, I'll show you those codes, but that's crazy. They gave that car back to that customer with 19 codes. I now get why that customer... And a lot of them might have been historic codes that don't matter. You know, the system self-clears them. Yep. But there could be a code in there that jeopardizes the safety. There was um, for the impact, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, they released that vehicle to that customer, and it's really just a frightening world. And when it of. comes down to the training thing, um, I, I don't know who follows our pages. It, if you're at a shop working and your shop isn't doing it, Go talk to your managers, please. <laughs> Let's, I mean, we're all competitors, but we're all here in the same business to do the same thing and return vehicles safely to our streets. Absolutely. If you're an insurance company watching this, I'm in Zealand all week. Call me. I'll be glad to explain it in depth. And on top of that, we have paired up with one of the companies that does our scanning because we do 75% of it in-house using a, a company called Aztec that remotely can do pre and post scans and we have another company called Moss that comes out. Both of them phenomenal service, but we've paired up with Moss and then in November, I believe, we're gonna hold um, a training course and it's gonna be for the insurance companies um, because auto body experts feel it's so important to get this education out there, train adjusters, train agencies, and train you, the public, yes. to what you're looking at when you choose a repair facility. And just to touch base on that, it will be in our Zealand location in November. Um, after the 24th, we will have more details, but it is going to be free to our insurance partners, which means the insurance company and our agents. Please come down, we'll have some pizza, and let us teach you why we're taking these steps. It's not just to add repair costs, it's truly for the safety. Um, so stay tuned for that if you are like you said, if you work at another body shop, we will be opening this up to you to come and watch Please as well. Come. <laughs> I mean, if yes, like you said, we're all in the same business, but if you work at a shop down the road and they're not feeling it, come to this class that we're gonna have put on and you're gonna see a whole new light and a fear that how many vehicles maybe you've released already that you didn't take care of correctly. And it's one of them things that I'm telling you, as an organization, when you start doing it, you sleep better at night. It's when they don't allow you to do it, you lose your sleep and it pisses you off. So. 100%, you know, and that's just it. There's things that make us cringe in this industry. And um, in the last few years, it's it's gotten a lot better, too. I mean, people are certified. Yeah, again, people this are... is one one person, one insurance company. 99% of them out there know we're doing the right thing. Um, but this, I'm going to kind of quick go down just another little different route. So, you know, I see it a lot on... Um, social media, different things. Where's the cheapest place to get a car repair? <laughs> Remember that, folks. It's not the cheapest to get car repairs anymore. A mirror no. has a sensor attached to it or more to it. It does a lot more than just that. And realistically, even under these direct repair programs that auto buy experts and shops work for, um, our customer is you. I mean, we allow the insurance company to come in as a third party and have say but when it comes down to it, we're the ones responsible for your vehicle repair. We're the ones building the repair plan. This vehicle, this Mazda CX-9, will be scanned regardless. It will not go back into the hands of this lady. Now, if she wants to deny it, she's not paying for it. If the insurance company wants to play hardball, not paying for it, that's fine. Guess who's eating it? Auto body experts. 200 bucks, that's fine. We will pay and have the scans done. Because we're sleeping Because at night. we are the ones <laughs> that are sleeping at night and carrying the liability of that repair. If you choose a cheaper shop that wants to lowball an estimate or not perform the necessary steps, realize that you might be putting your family in jeopardy, flat out. I mean, it's it's real stuff, people. And as vehicles, I know I heard this morning on my way in that Honda and General Motors paired up and they're gonna 
work on the self-driving car. Um, Cadillac released a vehicle coming out here in a few months. It's got 15 cameras in the windshield alone, in the laminate of the glass. This ain't going away, so. Elizabeth kind of brought up, you know, um, end of it. She was like, think of our first cell phones. Yeah. How much now we can do and how technology, just on that. So think about how your vehicle, I mean, my first car had rolled down windows. Yeah. I mean, simple Florida things. Florida's George Line rolled down her windows. Rolled down my windows. kids don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, they look like, at you like, it's what? It's not a push button. No, it's But so I mean, <laughs> you know, when it was brought up, um, Mike, the manager in our Holland facility, nailed the uh, thing on the head to an insurance adjuster. He's like, you guys never used to do this. And his reply back to the adjuster was, maybe, but my damn parents never buckled me in the back seat. We learned from our mistakes. People died. <laughs> And times are changing. And if the OEs are willing to put out a position statement saying you must do this, we are going to do it. Flat out. Um, it doesn't matter what an insurance company says at this moment to us. Nope. So. Um, but that's just, I mean, that's a little bit of it. And that's just yeah, crazy. I, if you knew every day even just some of the questions and the different scenarios that come up, um, we will update you on this, what scans do come up on this vehicle, um, just for education purpose. That way you know, you know, what is being found. Um, I do want to stress when these scans are done, um, as we noted, the little black box, your control center, that information does not get released to your insurance. No, we do not. It for us in house. Yep. We keep it on your file just so we know, but they do not get to see your personal information stored so i do again i stress that we look out for our customer in every way if it means even keeping that um documentation of your personal belong vehicle to you you know and with these pre and post scans a lot of the insurance companies the hurdles we had at first were um airbags didn't deploy and everyone gets so stuck on the the srs the safety restraint systems but these scans will let us know if there's a tail light ball ball a turn signal light um a dome light or in the case of the Mazda CX-9, if that seat belt in the rear seat that this little girl is wearing is faulty or not. Hey, my buddy Walt is going to join us. You know, um, what caused this girl to even allow that seat belt in her to reach the seat they hit her head? That's a question I want to know. Apparently, the educated people don't want to know that. They'd rather play out a lawsuit. Yeah, and you just brought it up. I mean, what seat belts which went into get? You have to know, um, Elizabeth actually just shared a great story about car seats. Like when you're in an accident, you you can get a car seat replacement. Those insurance companies don't tell you that. You need to know that knowledge. You're putting your precious little baby. So the same thing, restraints are just as important. If they replace a car seat, why wouldn't you want to know if your restraints locked up and something's wrong with them? And it's often that you have to replace a buckle or different things in a vehicle after it's been in an accident. So. It's just one of those things, like I said, we're just here. We really wanted to um, educate everybody. Safety is our biggest thing. I can stress it all day long, and I really appreciate Kelly for doing this. I loved hearing that he did lose some sleep on it just so I had the moment because he has been kind of the one who's handled a lot of the negotiating with our insurance companies um, and educating them as well. So he's put a lot of time and effort into this, and it, like you said, it's scary more than anything. Yeah. It's but in the case, and Lisa's a big follower, but... I saw Dave earlier. Hello, okay. Mr. Mead. Yeah. You know, it, it's a Mazda. Mazda says to do this. You, you guys can vouch for it. I mean, I'm sure it was wonderful to be at a volleyball game with your daughters. You know, um, mother of five don't know that what goes on behind the curtains. And I'm glad she chose our repair facility. It's the first time she's worked and we've done work for her. But what if this car went to a shop that they were after just collecting the check and they weren't doing this and released the vehicle back what if and later yep restraints every i mean like both look at us we just it, yeah it's, it's enough to stress you out. Yes. so <laughs> anyways thank you guys i see there's a bunch of people watching listening um for allowing me to bore you or educate you whatever it is but understand that we do care for you it's not just the repairs it's not the just the free pumpkins which we got a bunch of you on pumpkins um, but it is making sure your family is safe, accident, or the vehicle is returned to pre-accident loss for you. Yep. Any questions, concerns from anyone on individually? Mandy is out in Hudsonville. We got Missy, yep. General Message Manager, here, Amazon, me, Mike, Kenny, 
anyone would be glad to answer any questions, concerns you got in any facilities. So. All of us are pretty up on this, and we want to stay up on your safety. Um, it's something that we will always be. Um, the industry's getting crazier as it goes. It's really yeah. wild, but um, it's great to see this shift, though, that um, the OEs are actually butting into helping educate the insurance companies because it used to be more they weren't standing up as much either. So now we're having extra power. And um, we knew when we walked into this, our first words were, we were going to be the first ones in the area to force the issue, and it was going to be a battle. Yep, we knew but it. But it was a battle we were willing to take, so. But that's why we went and got educated on it. And once you, I stress again, once you're educated, you are like, oh, what? You have to do this. Why would you not? I mean, like you said, if another shop would have fixed this, gave it back to her, horrible time to find out your restraint systems in the back don't work. When you receive that when dreaded you phone call. call. Yep, I can't even imagine, so. Um, like Kelly said, we have free pumpkins at all of our locations, so make sure you stop down. We have the big expo this weekend, Pumpkin Fest Parade. We will be around and about. Um, make sure you enter that contest for some free donuts. Um, and yeah, we will, if you're in an agency, that's the other thing I was going to say, um, and you want us to come in and kind of talk to you a little bit too, same thing, just message us, and we'll be happy to kind of come in and um, educate your team that's in your office, maybe bring you some lunch or something like that. So. Let us know if there's any other questions. And um, again, thanks, Kelly. And I hope this was informational for everybody. And we will see you from the Auto Body Experts family. See ya. <laughs>